welcome back guys i hope you're doing awesome i'll be showing you how i make my oatmeal and honey creamy body wash this body wash is very moisturizing and soothing on the skin and it produces a very rich lather and it's not drying on the skin in any way if you're looking for another option um, than using black soap then this is a great recipe to try i'm going to show you step by step how i make this creamy body wash so let's jump right in and if this is your first time watching any of my videos you are welcome my name is Esther and I make DIY natural hair and skincare videos and I have a bunch of other videos so please go and check those out and I also sell natural hair and skincare products on my website I will have the link in the description box if you want to check that out as well To make this body wash, I'm going to be using liquid castile soap. This is an unscented, it's a baby unscented pure castile soap. And this has so many amazing oils like coconut oil, olive oil, hemp oil, jojoba oil. And it is unscented if you have a sensitive skin, this is a great option. The next uh, cleansing agent I'm using is coco betaine. You can use any other surfactant that you have available. Um, just use what you have. If you do not have this, then leave it out. I'm going to be using some distilled water to dilute the castile soap. I'm just going to pour my distilled water in my container. I'm going to be adding my oils next but um, to avoid my body wash from separating I'm going to be using sunflower lecithin this is an emulsifier so it will help combine my water and oils together so you can use any emulsifier of your choice but I really like uh, sunflower lecithin you can find it on Amazon Etsy so I'm just adding my lecithin to my sunflower oil then I'm going to mix it well before I add it to my body wash mixture Next, I'm going to be adding my xanthan gum. I already added my glycerin to my xanthan gum and I set it aside for about 15 minutes. This helps your xanthan gum to hydrate very well. So that way, when you add it into your mixture, it's going to thicken up um, really well. So once you add that in, don't over mix. Um, just mix it for maybe 30, 40 seconds. If it's not thick, that's fine. Um, just set it aside and give it time to thicken up and also with um, thickeners sometimes it can take a full 24 hours to get the consistency that you want You want to be careful when mixing so you don't activate too much lather or soap bubbles. Um, so I did check the pH um, off camera and I added a few drops of citric acid just to bring down the pH a little bit before I added my preservative. 
the preservative i'm using it goes up to a range of 10. it is important because if you add your preservative and the ph is outside of that range it's not going to be effective so i added my preservative and i'm just going to mix that in and i also um, ended up using my stick blender just to get everything well mixed And this is what the consistency is looking like if you do not want your body wash as thick as this then use less uh, thickener use less xanthan gum i'm going to also be adding some essential oils that is completely optional And this is what the creamy oatmeal and honey body wash is looking like. It's a nice creamy thick consistency and just feel free to make changes that work best for you. You can adjust the xanthan gum, you can make it a thinner consistency but this is what I have and I do like the consistency so i'm just going to package this in my bottles this made about 16 and a half ounces of product i'm going to show you how well this lathers this body wash produced a really creamy and rich lather Best of all, it was not drying on the skin in any way. So definitely give this recipe a try and let me know in the comments what you think. Let me know if you have any questions at all and I'll do my best to answer your questions. Reach out to me in the comments, send me an email and also please go on and subscribe if you haven't yet subscribed and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any new videos that I upload and i'll see you in the next video bye bye